Hey y'all, we're gonna simply talk about just celery pieces today, nothing terribly fancy. Uh, I've already wiped this off to get some of the obvious dirt on here. It might not be the prettiest celery in the world, but you know, it doesn't really matter. It's still gonna taste good. And I'm just gonna start peeling off these outer ribs. I actually, for uh, what I'm gonna prep this for to cook later today, I actually need about half this bunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all those leaves off, all of, or all those uh, ribs off. All these little leaves and stuff in here, as I've said before about celery, you can rip them off and put them in a little baggie and store them in the freezer or in the fridge and throw them in your stock pot when you're making uh, chicken broth at home if you do that. Uh, it is a really great way to add lots of flavor. So do not throw those away. Now, sometimes when you peel the ribs off, the inside of the rib is, uh, can be dirty. And so you can clean that off however you like. You can clean it off with running water if you want. I honestly usually just take a paper towel and wipe it. You can dampen paper towel if you want to do that too. These are actually not that bad. Most of the most of the darkness on here is just from being a little bit older celery, which is fine. Okay, now that that's off, I'm gonna take my knife and I'm going to actually cut off this sort of like very, very end part just because it can be really uh, woody and you know a lot of those like fibers that uh, that celery has it just it has a lot of that fibrous material down here So I go ahead and take that off I'll do it for these three as well Check the tops. So this one has like a little leaf on it that I might not want so I'll take that off and Then honestly, I'm just gonna make pieces out of this. So I'm gonna go up. Meh, I don't know inch and a half maybe do it again and again and again and that's like my half bunch already in pieces super fast 